Why is this PC moving so slow? Error disk full, but I should have at least 20 gigabytes left on this drive. Oh, crud. SSDs have many benefits. Lightning fast speed, durability, and tiny form factor. But depending on how much you spend, limited storage capacity, which will come and bite us all eventually without cleaning up a bit every now and then. Today's video will offer some simple tips on making more space on your SSD. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, my name is Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching DIY in 5, the show where we do our best to make tech simple enough that you can do it yourself, all in a video that's roughly five minutes or less. Today's video is for everyone out there who needs to free up room on their SSD and doesn't know where to start. I got you. Oh, and if you find the tips in today's video useful, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. First, and this may seem like an obvious answer, but you can buy a bigger drive. If you're not ready to do that, you can try and find, then remove large files. You've probably got at least a few files that you don't want or need anymore, just taking up space, so let's find them. You can either use a tool like Disk Cleanup, built right into Windows, or third-party software to clear files. I really like Windirstat for Windows or Daisy Disk for Mac OS. They'll scan your SSD and show a graphic representation of the files. Simply hover over the larger rectangles shown to see the file name and size. If you decide to use Disk Cleanup, I recommend that you go into your document, videos, pictures, and download folders manually and delete what you don't need. And of course, don't forget to empty the recycle bin when you're done. If you're having a hard time deciding what to delete, maybe you have video memories from years ago that you don't necessarily need to access often, but still want to have saved, looking at you, mom. Moving those files to an external SSD can free up space while still keeping those files accessible. Next, let's go over the apps installed on your computer. If there are any you haven't used in a while, chances are you no longer need them. Deleting unused apps can help reclaim space and increase your computer's performance as well, since all installed apps consume storage capacity. Double win. If you're on a Windows operating system, go into your settings, click on the System tab, click Storage, then Apps and Features, and uninstall anything you are no longer using. Next, your PC or Mac may already be doing some work in the background for you, known as Trim and Active Garbage Collection. SSD Trim is an advanced technology attachment, or ATA, command that allows your OS to tell a SATA NAND flash SSD which data blocks it can erase because they are no longer in use. This can increase drive performance and contribute to longer SSD life as well. The NVMe equivalent of Trim is the Dataset Management command. Remember the disk defragmentation of drives of old? This is the updated SSD compatible alternative. No matter what name it goes by, Trim works with Active Garbage Collection to clean up and organize your SSD. Great news here is that your operating system is probably already doing this for you, and if it isn't, drives are designed assuming you won't be doing this anyway. So no worries. Another thing you can try to free up space is to disable hibernation and system restore. These both take up a lot of space on your drive, which you can take back, but note that disabling these features will mean you may have a harder time recovering data or putting your computer into a low power state. So if you rely on these features, you shouldn't modify them. If you've tried all of the tricks we've mentioned so far and still need more space, perhaps it's time to treat yourself to a new upgraded SSD with larger capacity. If you're upgrading from a SATA SSD to an NVMe SSD, you will also get increased speeds, improved performance, and better power efficiency. Definitely worth considering. Something like the Kingston KC3000 NVMe M.2 SSD with the latest Gen 4x4 NVMe controller and 3D TLC NAND technology could be the exact boost you need to optimize workflow, especially if you demand nothing but the fastest speeds available on the market. Okay, let's check back in with our error from before. Much, much better. Folks, thanks for watching DIY in 5. If you have any tech topics you'd like to see taken on in a future DIY in 5 episode, please leave them in the comments. See you next time.